First tonight at five, a juvenile inmate dead and a correctional officer is in jail now for murder. Family has identified the inmate who died as this boy, Lois Tucker. The Georgia Bureau of Investigations says Tucker was found unresponsive at the Waycross Regional Youth Detention Center last week and died at the hospital. A correctional officer at the detention center has been arrested in connection to that teenager's death. The GBI says 30 year old Thomas Hicks was allowing teens to participate in a fight game. Now Hicks is facing charges of second degree murder, cruelty to children and violation of oath of office. All your size, Brianna Ray Turner is at the detention center tonight. And Brianna, you spoke to the teenager's family today. That is correct. The family of 17 year old Lois Tucker is distraught by the senseless death, which officials say occurred during a game of knockout. Here's a photo of Tucker that his aunt Anna Guerrero sent me. She describes him as a good kid who got into a little trouble. She says he was in the juvenile detention center because he got into a car wreck without a driver's license and had previously been in trouble for stealing a lawnmower. Glenn Allen, director of Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice, issued a statement that says the agency is deeply saddened by the passing of one of our youths. We send our heartfelt condolence to the youth's family, friends and loved ones, and they remain in our thoughts and prayers. He continued, upon learning this afternoon of findings of the GBI investigation, I immediately terminated Mr. Thomas Hicks from employment with the department. The actions of Mr. Hicks are deplorable and do not represent the core values of this agency. Allen said Hicks worked with the department on and off since 2014. Hicks is currently in the Ware County Jail and GBI says this is still an ongoing investigation. And Waycross, Brown or Turner, First Coast News on your side.